Flossum is cool, meaning your flaws are awesome. When I was 11 years old, over the summer I grew three inches and lost 30 pounds, three months. And that was not on purpose, and there was nothing I can do to gain weight, and I felt really, really insecure. I would get really down on myself, and I would always just be really hard on myself because I didn't look like the people that were praised around me. I felt confused about myself. I was really shy as a kid, and I only had like a few close friends. I just wanted to fit in with all the girls that were around me, which meant dyeing my hair blonde, getting blue contacts. I just sort of felt like a freak. I'm so different from everyone, and I felt like my differences were really clear to everyone. I was often the only Asian American girl, uh, often the only person of color, and really just felt like an outsider. Wasn't pretty enough, cool enough, talented enough, said the right things. I was depressed and I never felt like I had a purpose in life. I felt like I didn't have a sense of style. I felt like I didn't fit in with the other kids. I really just felt uninteresting compared to everyone around me. Insecure and doubtful of myself. I was constantly questioning everything I was doing. I was constantly trying to shove myself into a skin that just wasn't me. The moment I accepted myself as is was when I realized that perfect is boring. Cookie cutter beauty where everybody is in a box and looks the same is boring and it's also impossible to live up to. I started to love myself as is in my late teens when I started to realize that some of the best people in the world were different from everyone. It was such a moment of power for me when I accepted myself as is because I stopped wishing to be something else. I stopped wishing to have a gender that made more sense or be the right kind of trans person. And I started embracing what it meant to just be me and live in the world in a way that felt good for me and to celebrate my own unique, incredible version of beauty. I don't think that I really accepted myself until I was in my 20s and it started to become clear to me that the things that made me feel different were actually talents, they were actually strengths and things that I shouldn't hide. Less than a year ago, last May, when I took some time to actually like disconnect from everything life has, I finally found happiness with myself. Like it wasn't about anyone else around me, it wasn't somebody else bringing me happiness, I found it with myself. And that was when I started to really feel like me as I am is just good enough. More than good enough, it's awesome. When I started college, and for the first time, I was aware that there were other people out there like me, who thought like me, who dressed like me, who felt like me, who was the same size as me, and that was really eye-opening. I don't feel like there was a like aha moment. It's more been a series of gradual understanding that if I don't show up, if I don't represent, if I don't speak out, no one with my perspective will. I think the moment that I accept myself as is honestly hasn't come yet and I don't expect it to ever 100% come. But I think that's okay because I'm working on myself every day and every day I'm getting a little more confident. Every day is a journey for me. The difference now is that my growth and change is because I wanted it. Not because others think I should be something that I don't want to be. Now, um, I feel like I accepted myself as is in relationship to all the other outsiders and all the other people who feel like they don't fit in and in my activism to make the world the kind of place where we can all feel like we belong and can contribute. I finally started accepting myself around my junior year of college. I started wearing like bold lipsticks and I started dressing a little bit out there and it came to a point in time where I was like, man, like I appreciate myself and I love myself so much that if anybody disagrees with me or my lifestyle that's in my life, then they don't need to be in my life because overall that's hurting me. 